Hi there, and welcome to the Home Studio Rescue here on YouTube. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to gain stage your tracks real quick and then kind of tweak that as you go if you need to. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to listen to these tracks as they are, and it's a little loud, so brace yourself. You know now I'm trying. That's right. I'm so we can see that this is clipping right here. This is my master fader. And a big part of the reason is because this vocal gets really loud. Uh, but what we're going to do, the fastest way to do this is just to click all in your groups and get the grabber tool. You just go command four and then highlight these tracks and you're going to hold shift and control. And I'm going to use this little scroll thing here to scroll down. You can see the clip gain right here. And so I'm just going to scroll down on that and I'm just going to bring everything down about eight dB, something like that. And so we'll push play. Alright, so we can see that it's not clipping anymore. The master bus isn't clipping, and that's what's important. Now, a lot of videos on YouTube are going to tell you you need to gain stage your tracks down to negative 18 dB, and that's cool. You can do that if you'd like to. It doesn't have to be that. Don't obsess about the number. You don't have to worry about it. You just need to get it in the ballpark. So what I did here, I just turned down all the tracks with clip gain, which is pre-fader. And so now I'm going to show you pre-fader metering, which is up here in the options. That's what's selected. So when I'm recording a band, I want to see the level that's coming in, and I don't want whatever I'm doing with the fader to... Uh, affect the le like what the level looks like. So if I hit the snare drum, we'll find a section where the snare drum's going. We can see it's hitting right around zero. That's good. There's negative 18. It's hitting right around that. And right now we've got pre-fader metering on. So if I turn this snare drum up, it doesn't matter. Like right here, I, you're not going to see the level of what's actually going on when I'm turning up the fader. When I take this off, and I turn it up, <laughs> here, it's back at zero, and I turn it up, if I turn it down, you can see the level is changing here. This is important when you're mixing. If you are recording, leave it on pre-fader metering so whatever you're turning up or down doesn't affect the volume that you're seeing here. You want to know where your tracks are coming in if they're even getting close to clipping. By the way, there's no reason to get your tracks that hot. That's an old school thing that people did with tape. We don't need to worry about that. We just want the cleanest tracks we can get coming in. So you're going to want to have pre-fader metering on when you're tracking. And then when you gain stage your tracks and you're ready to start mixing, turn that off. Uh, we're just going to look at these room mics. We're going to see that they're at two different levels. I just kind of blindly turned them both down 8 dB and you can just see by the signal they're just way off so I need to go in now and kind of match these and so if we push play where that snare drums going I'm gonna have to sit there and kind of tweak it a little bit you don't have to have it right at negative 18 but it's definitely something good to shoot for you can do that uh, I'm sure the overheads are gonna need some adjusting as well so let's take a look at the overheads they're close but I'm just gonna tweak them So yeah, so I kind of just turned everything down and then I'm going to go back and tweak things. And now with the vocals, so this is all vocal tracks right here. It's the same take. I'm going to highlight them just by clicking, holding shift. I'm going to go command G and I'm going to go vocal. And I'm going to take this section where things are really loud and I'm actually going to bring them down uh, just to kind of make them in line with the rest of the vocal. If you promise to Here's our master fee. And so that's actually pretty good. I would probably still go through and just tweak things a little bit individually, and then I would start my mixing process. So we've got our tracks in a pretty good place. Our master fader is nowhere near clipping. And so we got a lot of headroom where now I can start making the kick drum huge and the snare drum and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you've got any value out of this video, please hit the like button. And if you have a question, you can leave it down below in the comments. Otherwise, I will catch you on the next one.